Well, hello, this is Josh Nelson with Plumber SEO and the Plumbing and HVAC Online Dominance Blueprint. And in this video, I want to talk you through the very important process of merging your Google Places listing, your old Google Maps listing, with a new Google Plus local listing. Uh, there's been a transition over the last couple months where Google moved from going using Google Places, google.com slash places, as the the engine that controlled your Google Maps listing. And when they set up Google Plus, they converted Google Plus to Google Plus Local, which is now the engine that manages your Google Map listing. I want to make this an inter interactive overview of how to complete this process. And so just so you can get a feel for what I'm showing you, if you go to Google and you type in... Um, Kernsville Plumber, of course it helps if you spell it right, you'll see the map that shows up, right? And so on this map, that map is driven by Google Places and Google Plus Local. So it used to be you could go to google.com slash places and that was where you controlled the Google map listing. You'd sign in and there was a little area in the background that you could edit with all of your company information, name, address, phone number, etc. And that was how you controlled your Google Map listing. Well, it's changed and now that's actually being controlled at Google+. Plus. Which is this. It's their new social media profile engine. And so I'm showing you this example for a company in Kernsville, North Carolina that has a Google Places listing but has not set up their Google Plus local page yet. So this might be the exact scenario that you're in where you spent the time or somebody spent the time and set up a Google Places listing for you but you haven't taken that next step to claim and verify your Google Plus local page. And so that's what I'm going to be showing you on this video. So there are four, four steps to getting merged with your Google Plus local listing, your Google Places listing. The first is you want to log in to the account on Google where you have your Google Places listing set up. And that's at google.com slash places. I'm going to be showing you that. It's important that you do this on the account where you have a Google Places listing verified so that you're not creating a duplicate entry and you're not going to have any crossover issues. So you want to find that original Google username and password that was used to set up your Google Places listing. From there, you want to go to google.com slash plus or Google Plus, set up your personal profile. I'm going to show a little bit of how to do that. Then you can, from your personal profile, create a business page or a Google Plus local page. And of course, you want that to be the Google Plus local page that is your business that was on Google Maps as Google Places. And then I'm going to show you the process for verifying that listing. Google will send a pin in the mail. You'll go back in. You'll enter that pin. And you'll have completed the merge process. So let's start by going to google.com slash places. And you want to go here, google.com slash places. and you want to sign in. And so again, I mentioned this, but I'm doing this process from, from beginning to end. That way you can see it visually and know exactly what happens. But here's where you want to make sure you enter the username and password that was used to claim your Google Places listing. So you're at Google Places, you sign in. If you're in the right account, you will see this dashboard. This dashboard says that you had a Google places listing that was claimed, it was verified, and so now you can feel confident that you're in the right place. Once you've done that, now you can go over to Google Plus. And perhaps you already set up a Google Plus local profile for yourself, I mean a Google Plus profile for yourself, perhaps you didn't. A couple things you want to do in your individual personal profile. The very first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got a picture of yourself. And this needs to be at least 250 wide by 250 large. So I'm just going to select an image that's already been set up.
for this specific listing. So we're going to find the image. It's already sized correctly. Hit the open button. Let it do its process. Try and center it as well as you can. And now there's going to be an individual profile set up for you. And of course, you can go over to this profile section, hit the About Us area, and do all kinds of things. I recommend, and on a separate video, I'll explain the process of setting up your Google Plus profile. Some things you want to do, obviously, are enter your occupation. You're the owner of a business, employment, list that business there. And then you want to come down here to where it says links. Add a link to your website with your keyword, your city plus plumber, your city plus plumbing. You also want to pay close attention to this contributor to link. Here you can place a link back to your website. Add a piece of code to your website called authorship so that when Google comes across that site, it recognizes that your individual profile is, is the one that is the one that um, is doing the publishing for your page and that's called authorship and then there's another video that explains how to set up authorship for your website on Google Plus so but that's the main thing I wanted to show you here now back on track how can we merge our Google places listing with our Google Plus local listing so down here on the bottom left hand side you see something that says more and you've got local hangouts what you want to do is you want to go more and then hit pages. This is where you create your Google Plus local page. So you can go here, click create new page, and then click local business or place. And from there, you need to drop in your exact number as it shows on your Google Map listing. So you do that, hit locate, and if you're already on Google Maps, Google's going to find it and give you the option to select it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to select this. Again, it's important that you're doing this from the listing that you claimed your Google Places listing with that shows up on google.com slash places so there's no hiccups. If you don't have access to it, you can skip straight to this step and override your existing map listing. So we've confirmed this is the phone number, company name, address. Great. Let's hit the OK button. and it wants to know what your external website is so you want to grab your website address and drop that in there agree continue and there's a lot of things you can do in here you want to pay attention to your categories you want to make sure that your public address that you want listed, the one that people can contact you on, is listed there. Make sure that your number reflects correctly, the actual number for your business. Everything looks right. And depending upon if you're plumbing, contractor, AC, put your appropriate categories. The caveat here is you want to make sure that you follow the is not does rule. So this company is a plumber, is a contractor, is an AC contractor, is an HVAC contractor, not does water heater installation, water heater repair, plumbing services. So Google pays close attention to that. They get very upset and will penalize you if you, if you mess with that action there. So we're going to hit the finish button and you have the option to go in here and edit your business information. So when you hit this edit your business information, you can put in all kinds of details. You can put your hours of operation, right? Which let's just say are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. weekdays, and then set another set of hours for weekends. I'm gonna go in and edit this, modify it after the fact. 
put a short description about your company here in Google Plus Local you have a lot more flexibility with the type of information that you can publish in the in the description section so you're not limited by 250 characters and you can go back and e edit it afterwards but for now I'm just gonna drop in a, a nice little description talking about the different things that this company does hit save and done any there's a lot of additional things you can do here you can upload a picture of your logo which I always recommend and you would just grab it from the list and upload it and make sure that you've got the right information listed here you've got access to your posts your photos your videos I want you to be aggressive with the way that you update this information make sure that you've got photos you've got videos you've got a well-defined story you've got your hours of operation and everything in here but the next thing you really need to do is verify and this is where you're gonna actually fuse your Google map listing or your Google places listing with your Google plus local listing and so you gotta go here to where it says verif unverified hit the verify now button and it will take you to this screen where it asks you to to verify and so you make sure this is the right address and it certainly is press yes have your name entered there you agree to the terms and conditions and you see over here it says this is gonna be the postcard that you get from Google right now Google's gonna send a postcard to this address with a pin code so you hit the button send postcard typically hit the refresh button afterwards and it will take you to this pin page and this is where you're gonna enter your pin whenever you get that postcard in the mail and then your map listing and your Google Plus local listing will be merged and so we'll just jump back so let's just say obviously you don't have that pin code just yet you're not sure what the next step is maybe you leave and you're gone and you don't know what's gonna happen next a week later your postcard comes in the mail and you get it and you're like, oh man what do I do with this now where do I go so your next step is to go back to google.com slash plus and it's gonna ask for that same username and password so keep diligent track of your usernames and passwords that way you don't get confused and you know which is which and come back in here log in with your username and password and this is where I'm showing this video I want to show you the steps don't get confused how do I get back to that page where well, there's, there's two options you can come down here and hit pages or now since you created a page it will be available under your drop down so you've got your individual profile and then you've got your Google Plus local profile so you want to grab that and you're back in this is your company's Google Plus local profile definitely edit it update it have a cool graphic in the top have your logo but come back and you hit this in progress button enter your pin and so now you take that pin that was in your postcard you key it in here press submit and you've unlocked your Google Plus local page and it's completely um, completely merged and now you're controlling your Google map listing from Google Plus local as opposed to Google places well, I hope you found this beneficial and I hope you're able to take these ideas and implement them on your own of course if you'd like more ideas strategies and tactics on how you can market your plumbing or HVAC business online go to plumberseo.net slash free that's plumberseo.net slash free there you can download a free guide that we've developed that takes you step by step through the process of claiming your online directory listings, setting up your website so you've got pages for your most important services, and doing the optimization to really get your plumbing or HVAC company to rank exceptionally well for your important keywords in your area.